Hi guys, um, I don't really know how well this is going to work at this angle because you're sitting on a tablet in a case propped up against a wallet and a Wemo cover. So, yeah. Um, I, uh, I tried to make this video a couple of weeks ago, right after I filmed the one that I uploaded and posted the poll. Um, I tried that and uh, I feel like I got very mixed results. Okay, the camera angle had to change a little bit, but um... It seems that most of you wanted to see the vlog updates, the life updates, and the vlogs, the life updates, whatever. And so, yeah, I decided I'd do one now. Um, we have a almost three month old German Shepherd puppy. She is the light of my life. She's actually kind of helped with the um the mental stuff wrong with me i um <laughs> i don't want to go into too much detail you can look through past videos if you would like to know what i have more in depth of which is bipolar and depression and a little bit of anxiety and stuff like that so basically my brain takes something and spins it out of control or I go into manic states that are usually accompanied by lots and lots of depression and thoughts of death and thoughts of life after death and stuff like that and so like something went wrong up here and it scares me. It really does scare me, but I'm working through it a little by little every day. Um, for the last month, well, for all of December and most of January, I have been, I was watching Sco What's New Scooby-Doo, and I finally got to a state where I could watch live action shows again without feeling like everything was going to end right then and there. I do have this gut feeling like right here. Not my this is my boob, not my gut. But I have a feeling in my chest that something's going to happen and I would like it to go away and it's not going away and I fell a couple weeks, well, I fell a couple days after we got the puppy, and, uh, it went away for a little bit, and, and, well, it went away for almost two weeks, and then it's back after, uh, some strenuous stuff, but it's just my left side here, uh, yeah, um, I don't, uh, that's about all that's happened on my end, um, I have been making a lot of TikToks because TikTok helps take my mind off of the inevitable, inevitable, I don't think I said that word right. Um, so that's kind of a help. Uh, it's a little scary, but it's a help. Um... We got all of our stuff down here, so uh, that's what all this is behind me, which is norm, which is why I'm not currently facing my backdrop and stuff because I don't currently have <laughs> have a thing to hold the phone on to record with, which I did get um, a pop a uh, ring thing like I had on my old phone case. 
but it come off almost immediately so now it's just the case and it's propped up against stuff and like all that good stuff uh, mm, I don't really know what else to talk about um I'm watching Stargate uh I like Stargate Stargate's pretty cool I like Stargate SG-1 the best I like Atlantis. I cannot stand SG Universe. I think that's mostly because it's not my cup of tea. It's like the the whole dyna the whole dynamic changed, and I get that. But at the same time, I just I don't like real I don't like stuff like that, which is weird because I like SG One and stuff like and stuff like that. But yeah, um, I've been following Meghan Markle and Prince Harry and all of that situation, and I just have to say I'm really happy for them. I've spent the better part, well, I've spent the last two years seeing their names dragged through the media and her being painted as the bad guy, and which I don't think, I don't think that, um, I don't think it was right for them to do Megan like that <laughs> because she she's she seems like she's an amazing and wonderful and very knows what she wants type of person and I'm very happy for her and for Prince Harry because growing up in a world where Prince Harry has been splattered all over the media everywhere um and then what happened with with his mother princess diana i get why they wanted to step back because harry didn't want history to repeat itself which is understandable and i get that i really get that and I'm just so happy for them. I was really happy when little Archie was born. I was just so happy. Meghan Markle has become one of my idols over the last two years. And she is just such an amazing person. And I love her to death. I think that she has to be one of my favorite people in the world. And... That's just because she's done so much. And she just seems like such a genuine and nice person. And I would... I, I, it's kind of my dream to meet her. Which is probably not even possible. Because, well, for one, she lives in Canada. And I don't... It would take a long time to do all of that. But I'm happy for her. And for them, and I just, I can't wait to see little Archie grow up and what kind of person he's going to be. Very happy about that. Um, I know I'm rocking back and forth, but that's because I'm on the floor and the floor is cold and my foot's asleep. But, yeah, I know this video is going to be very long. I can see it's already at eight minutes and almost nine minutes and it's all over the place, but... That's kind of all that I've been doing. It's just being all over the place and being spastic and keeping up with different people and different things and watching Stargate, playing BitLife, watching other people, watching YouTube videos, TikTok videos, talking to friends, trying to get pumped for my 21st birthday. Yee! <laughs> and I'm, I'm so excited. I, I just... I'm excited, okay? I'm very excited. Because I don't think it ever registered in the back of my mind that I would ever make it to 2021. 20, so, <laughs> that's amazing. And y'all know how big I am. In fact, I have actually lost weight. Because this dress that you can't completely see used to be very, very tight. I'm talking, I could barely move in it, and it's a button-up dress. So, it's just, I just, I'm happy. I don't have any stress. I don't, I don't have to deal with anybody that I don't want to deal with. 
I don't have anything bad in my life. I don't have any constant stress from people that put stress in my life. And I'm happy. Um, which is nice because I don't really want to go into a depression cycle again. Like I have every year for the last 11 years. I do not want that. I swear to God, if I go into another depression cycle in the beginning of the year, I'm gonna... Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I realize I have said I don't know and um a lot in this video, but I really don't know and that's really all I can say. Um, honestly, just I can't thank you guys enough for sticking with me and stuff. I would do my serial killer videos, I would do all of that, and all of that stuff, but my mind just cannot take it. Like, even watching Stargate, and when somebody dies, I get super emotional, and I don't like it. And so, that's all that's been happening lately, is I just get super emotional and just can't stand death, and all of that. And I'm going to start living in the moment. As soon as I get done... As soon as I get done <laughs> with, well, my education and I find a legitimate job. Because apparently this isn't a legitimate, a legitimate job. And one of my and well a lot of people in my family's eyes so uh yeah there's that and I lost my train of thought in the middle of what I was saying so I am sorry that this video is very very long it's almost 13 it'll be almost 13 minutes by the time I get done talking and all of that snazz. Anyway, if you liked this, don't forget to subscribe, like, follow me on all my social medias. They'll be linked in the description. And don't forget to stay awesome. I think that's amazing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And toodaloo!